And some people have to do a job they're not very happy about doing or don't like. But if they have a creative outlet in which they can put their heart and soul and feel a sense of self-respect, then that makes their life much easier. It makes the people's lives around them much easier. And it's part of a, a holistic approach, really. Mm. The music is vital, but it's a means to an end. And in terms of making money, it's, it's unfortunately you know, the media portrayal of yeah, the exactly. is a lot of money, and ticket prices are very high for a lot of gigs, and people think, oh, the band must be raking it in. It's <laughs> not, it's the people promoting it. Well, not in this particular case, let me tell you, with Folkstock. But um, it's, it's a very misunderstood profession. Mm. If you can distill it to what is important to you, and it's very important to me when I'm working with an artist, I have to find out what's motivating them. And it isn't always on a first conversation because people have a story, they have a line of information that they reel out, and you've got to get beyond that. Mm. And then you find out what's really going on behind all the hype ball. And if someone is able to be responsive, is, is involved in their musical career rather than almost observing it, if they're really involved in it, and they are wanting direction, which is crucial, because if someone doesn't want direction and thinks, hey, I'm good enough, I don't need any help, there's no point in taking up their suggestion of your help, because they're using you. Mm. It's using you for what they think you can get in terms of contacts or gigs. Mm -hmm. That's not any good for me, because so, I will just get rid. Mm. I, I so, have no tolerance for people who are going to be particularly fussy about well, that's only a small radio show, or that's this. It, it's not about that. Everything you do is part of a mix of promotion. You don't know who's listening to that radio show. One person, but they know someone who knows someone. And mm. it's all about building up this jigsaw, I think, of exposure. Mm. And re reaching out to different people. And if, if the artists that I'm working with, and all of them are in that category, let me tell you now, if artists that approach me have that approach, and then I'm much more likely to do it. Because I'm doing it for free. Mm. There is no money in unsigned acoustic music at the moment. No. Um, are you hoping to uh, make folk stock an annual event or a biannual event? I'm not hoping to make it anything other than the best musical event that Hertfordshire has had. Not this year. Yeah. And you're going to then go on from there? We'll see. I mean, okay. yes. Um, I can see that a second event if this one is as successful as everyone's telling me it's going to be, and let's hope they're right, <laughs> then the next year should be a lot easier because a lot of the really hard planning and applications and thinking it through and structure will have been done. And if it works, then there will be a blueprint. Yeah, that's true. It's All the work easier. I've done for the last four months won't need to be repeated. I can start from now, which is promoting the event which actually is the most enjoyable part anyway, yeah. really, other than getting the line-up sorted. Um, I've deliberately picked artists that are superb and that you cannot not like. You know, okay. Even so, if you've never heard of them before, you think, wow, gosh, they're really good. And there's people at all levels of experience. And over 50% of the artists are local. Yeah, I've got. I must admit, I've got some. You uh, you very kindly sent me some of the tracks uh, of some of the artists that are playing, and I had a listen the other day while I was working, and. Uh, I was quite quite amazed at the diversity of the talent. It really was, you know, quite you know, really interesting, quite refreshing. Mm. In fact, and there's another know. one of those coming. So that's on the SoundCloud link mm. with the name Folkstock, which anyone can listen to and download for free. There's going to be a second one, Folkstock Mark Two, because other artists said, "Oh, can I, can't I be on the promotion?" <laughs> oh yeah, of course you can. We'll do another one. So I've got another twenty artists um, who've recorded, who have got some superb tracks. So again, one from each. I'll be I'll let you have a copy of that, and I'll you know maybe you can put it online or something. Okay, well we, we only we only have an hour show, so we'll be playing a few tracks from the, from that from the uh, the artist. Anyway, um, quickly run through the details first of Stand and Calling. When's that, and how can people get tickets for that? Stand and Calling has its own website, which I believe is standandcalling dot com. You'll find it if you Google it. Google it. That's uh, from the second to the fourth of August. Okay, and you've got the stage on the fourth Sunday on, on the, the Lordship stage. On the Lordship stage, and that's sort of, uh, should we say, it's almost like a little preview of what you can see at Folkstock. Yeah, I mean, it's a lovely selection, some of the best artists, some of the more local best artists, yeah. to be fair, because, yeah, because that was a major interest for Stanley in that Folkstock Arts Foundation is procuring local talent, promoting mm. it, and they wanted to have a local link, so that worked really well. 
the festival itself, the 21st of September, Equinox, Autumn Equinox, okay. at Oldenham Country Park near Ballroom Wood. And there is a website, as I mentioned, which is folkfestival.com. Okay. okay, and how, mu- how much are the tickets again? They're £25 for an adult, 12 for a student, uh, 6 for age 5 to 15, £1 for under 5. And there's some really good group tickets and concession tickets. So you can get 6 for 5, which means the price comes under £20 per ticket. That's very reasonable. Yeah, and then there's uh, two adults, two children for 55 which is also a very good deal. And then there's one parent and two children for a bit less. I think that's 30 Okay, it's all on, on the, all on the website. And also and senior citizens as well. There's also, 18 pound tickets senior citizens because a lot of people are going to come who are older. I know they are obviously coming. They're coming, and I wanted to give them a benefit in terms of price. That's well. great. All right, well, th- we're almost out of time in here, um today, Helen. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. If the music we've played already hasn't uh, whetted your appetite for folk stock and acoustic music, this is Hertfordshire's number one sort of acoustic band. This is the folk, Delora. Take me away. Three young ladies, uh, delightful ladies, I had the pleasure of meeting last year called The Folk, and that was Delora, Take Her Away. 
We're almost out of time for the show today. I'd like to thank Helen Meisner for coming on the show, telling us all about Folkstock. Hope you've enjoyed with the music we've played and hope you'd like to go along to Folkstock. Next week, I have inspirational and country singer Charlie Landsberg on the show. Now, we're almost out of time. My name's uh, Terry Sullivan. This has been the Sticks Radio Show. Until next Monday at 10am, it's bye from me, but we have time for one more song. It's from uh, a lady... Helen mentioned right at the very beginning a lady called Lucy Ward. This is a track from her album uh, A Dolphy Has to Fly, and this is Maids When You're Young. Well, an old man came courting me, hating door and dark. Well, an old man came courting me, me being young. An old man came courting me all for his wife to be made when he young never wed an old man. For they've got no for and for liver I or and they've got no for and for liver I They've got no for and they've lost their ding door and are made when he young never wed an old man. Bed, hating door and dark. Oh, when this old man comes to bed, me being young. When this old man comes to bed, he lays like a lump of lead. Maids when he young never weds an old man, cause they've got no for to sleep, me being young. When this old man goes to sleep out of bed, I do creep into the arms of an handsome young man. And he's got forlorn and for liver I or him. He's got forlorn and for liver I. He's got forlorn and the ding dong and maze when he young never wears an old man. Oh, I wish this old man would I hate ding dong da. Well, I wish this old man would die. Me being young, I wish this old man would die. I'd make the money fly. Maids for your sex, never wear the old man, cause they've got no for An old man. If you'd like to be a guest on a future edition of the Stiggs Radio Show, just give me a call. Numbers 077 56 27 or email me at thesticks9 at gmail.com. Hi, this is Charles Haig. Join me every Tuesday morning from 10 until noon for a collection of music, news, guests current affairs, both local and national, and of course, your dedications and requests. 
MK Pulse proudly sponsors Seclo Sounds. MK Pulse is Milton Keynes' local magazine, bringing helpful information on food, health, fashion, money, travel, culture, and much more to 66,000 readers every month. Plus news, views, and what's on from around the city. If it's happening in Milton Keynes, it's in MK Pulse. And it's available online at www.mkpulse.co.uk. MK Pulse and Seclo Sounds, the heart and soul of the city. 